Here's an easy way to complete the square and solve quadratics. So here we have a quadratic looking equation and we're asked to solve for x. The first step is to get things into standard form with x squared, x, and then just another number all equal to zero. For this example, that means just adding one to both sides to get x squared plus three x plus one equals zero. Now to solve this, we could try factoring, but we're cooked since no two integers multiply to one and add to three. The other method would be using the Ohio tier quadratic equation, but that's kind of mid. So let's try completing the square, which is low-key based and can do other useful stuff like putting quadratics into vertex form. Anyways, so after we have our equation in standard form, the next step is to push this term on the right over to the side a little bit and then just focus on the first two terms. Since there's no number in front of the x squared, we can complete the square the easy way. Here we're gonna take the middle number, divide it by two, and then square it. But don't actually figure out what this thing is squared just yet. Trust the process, leave it in squared form, and add it and subtract it to the right of our middle term. This is safe, and no functions were harmed in the making of this video, since adding and subtracting the same number doesn't do anything or change the value of the function. Now we look at the first three numbers, and because this is a perfect square trinomial, we can write it as the first thing that's being squared, plus or minus the last thing that's being squared, all together as one happy family inside a parentheses squared. The next step is to simplify the lonely numbers left outside the parentheses by actually doing the squaring and reuniting them together by finding common denominators. Now we can add them up, which gets us negative 5 fourths. At this point, we have an expression that's easy to solve with algebra. If this was the graph of a function, the equals zero would just be a y equals, and then you would have the vertex form of a quadratic. But solving for x, we can do a little algebra and move the 5 fourths to the right. Then we square root both sides, but don't forget to put a plus minus after rooting. Finally, subtract 3 halves from both sides, and since these have the same denominator, we can combine the fractions to get two answers for x. Negative 3 plus the square root of 5, all over 2, and negative 3 minus the square root of 5, all over 2. And you're done. And there you have it. That's how to complete the square root quadratics. Nice!